setting high standards and taking steps towards success. The fourth to eighth graders who walk through these doors are not just getting ready for the classes they have today. They're looking ahead to the future. Boys are labeled in our society, particularly black boys are labeled. This school is one that shifts that narrative. You know, uh, this is a positive environment that's going to produce positive global citizens. Global citizens who take rigorous college prep classes, have opportunities to travel around the world with their classmates, and are exposed to unique opportunities. We require three things of our boys before they graduate. They need to know how to play chess, they need to know how to swim, and they have to have a passport. Too often, I think people don't hold a high expectation for our young men. And so there are very talented young men who can handle the pressure. Every year for the past five years, 480 students have rose to the challenge, putting in the hard work to better their futures, finding a safe place within the school's four walls. I love the bond, like of all the kids coming together, like everybody coming from different experiences, like everybody not having a place to go at home, but they come here and they have something to look forward to. Academically and mentally, it has really prepared me um, and just made me a better person overall. Shaping young men to shift the narrative. We work with them to get them to a point of excellence where they can survive and do well and prosper in any environment. Now here's a look at all of the high schools that the graduates from here have gone on to attend. The first class to graduate back in 2018 actually just graduated from high school. 62% of them are going on to college or trade school, which is above Baltimore's average. For more information on how you can support the Baltimore Collegiate School for Boys, you can visit our website. Reporting from Northeast Baltimore, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News.